It's been five years since we stood right here at Terminal 25 at Port Everglades. This terminal was spanking brand new. And the reason why was because Celebrity had just rolled out its very first Edge class of ship. And now we're back again and we're getting ready to board the fourth in the line of Edge ships. Can you believe it's been four already? The Celebrity Ascent. We're gonna try to show you a little bit of the differences from the very first time we were on board, some of the new additions, and just what you can expect, especially if you're a first time cruiser and it's your first time to Celebrity. So uh, sit back, relax, get ready. It's time to do it Addy and Terry style. To the JW Marriott here in Miami. This is how we're going to kick off our Celebrity Ascent Cruise, which leaves tomorrow. But first, I wanted to kind of show you guys how you can kind of ball on a budget. I'm going to show you the, uh, the rooms. We're ready to say cabin, of course. I'm going to show you the room, and then I want you to guess how much you think this was a night. And I'll show you all the amenities that go along with it. You ready? Let's start with this room. All right, so did you take a guess down in the comments below? How much a night do you think this room is? First off, you're at a five-star hotel, JW Marriott. This is a resort. It is the best hotel in Florida. Uh, it has an 18-hole golf course. It has multiple restaurants, multiple bars. It has a golf shop. Uh, it has a beautiful pool. The grounds are amazing, not to, to mention, you get a whole water park that's included in your resort fee. So you can hit the lazy river or hit the pools. So if you really wanna relax, either coming or going on your vacation, and you wanna find something like this, Addie and I can help you. Just go ahead and hit us up, Addy at AddieAndTerry.com. But this is how we're going to kick off our vacation for the preview of the Celebrity Accent. So one of the cool things I really like about Celebrity is the tech that they use, especially before you even board the ship. Now, this can happen at home. You could do it while you're driving and you can do it uh, even in your hotel room. So what happens is, you know how you get on board and you got to go through your muster drill and everything. They made it super easy. You can do all of that before you even make it to the ship. A few minutes ago, I got a notification on my Apple Watch uh, that said it's time to check in and get ready for your sailing. All right, so at first glance, you may not see exactly where to go to find the safety section so you can watch the muster video prior to getting on board. Down here in the bottom of apps, you simply slide over until you see safety. And then that's going to tell you how much time you have before you have to complete your safety briefing, your assembly station, uh, life jacket instructions. Uh, so you can actually click. First, separate the Velcro. And watch then the video here. the life jacket over your head and refasten the Velcro. So one of the cool things about an app, even if this is your very first time on a cruise or your very first time selling with Celebrity, is once you log in, they'll give you some uh, boarding tips and tell you exactly where they're going to see you. So some important information uh, for the first day of your cruise is going to tell you how to get to Port Everglades and Fort Lauderdale. They'll give you what to pack for your cruise suggestions. They'll tell you when all the board is. It'll give you check-in information. It'll let you know that your cruise card or your sea pass is what they call it, will be at your stateroom door. So you literally go to your cabin and get your key. It will be ready after 2 p.m. So you know exactly when your stateroom will be ready. And they even give you information about, you know, what if your luggage isn't in your stateroom? Because they do handle quite a bit getting people on and off. They give you your guest safety briefing digitally. Now, this is important. This is what I mentioned before. Before, um, you can tap it, get your safety briefing right from the app. Once you're done, then all you do is go and find your muster station. They check you in easy peasy. They've got safety information and tips. They tell you how to use the app on board, how to connect to the internet, a smoking policy if you need uh, wheelchairs. They talk to you about service charges and gratuities and making reservations on board using the app, your mini bar, room service, about being green, sustainable, camp at sea youth programs the community boards. There is so much information. You could even learn some of the lingo that you'll find on board the ships. They make it easy for you to do whatever you need and to get those questions answered. Maybe you forgot to answer on the forums or the chats. You can get all that information for your embarkation day right here in the app. Well, I'm 
we first arrived here five years ago, we took advantage of looking at this Celebrity Edge class ship. Look at the brand new terminal, still looking quite beautiful and very elegant. And we love an escalator. So one thing about this terminal, it's beautiful, but they're going to give you exactly where you need to go. There's check-in for the retreat suite class, and then there's general boarding. But first, you got to go through security, and we'll do that in a minute. So we just completed probably one of the easiest check-in processes that we have ever gone through getting on board a cruise. From start to finish, I would say the entire process took maybe five to six minutes total. And that was from getting off the, the Uber, getting our luggage checked in, coming inside to the escalator, and getting scanned in. We are ready to get on board, and our room keys are waiting at the cabin. Now, this, <laughs> you can't beat this. There is nobody on the gangway. Are we late? No, it's only 122. And it's AC. You good to go. We are about to get back on the edge class. One thing I love is there's no crowd that you got to fight through, no scanning of the cards. When you get on the edge class, you are literally on the edge class. And baby, We're five so years fun. later, we are back. Woohoo! Come on, man. You see the color blue? You getting ready to feel the vibes? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to cabin 8175. This is the Infinite Veranda cabin on board. They first came out with this idea five years ago. When we first saw it, we were like, yo, celebrity just changed the game. There are absolutely no cabins at sea like that anywhere except for soon to be the icon of the seas because they're going to be taking this design over there. But I want to give you a quick little room tour. It's not going to be Addie style, just that's her thing, but I just want to kind of show you around. So first thing you notice is that the cabin itself is absolutely gorgeous. The decor, the colors, it's bright. It makes you feel like you're in a boutique hotel and it gives you that kind of sexy vibe. Now, if you come over here, I'll show you. I like how they seamlessly integrate the closet into the design it's kind of a u-shape you've got your two bath robes plenty of hangers uh, plenty of space and of course this opens as well so not only do you have just a little alcove you have an area here to lay different things you've got your uh, jackets your long dresses you've got three drawers and of course the safe so you can store it away and a full length mirror so you can check your fit and make sure that you're clean and ready to hit the decks so i really like that design and they are soft closed you got a little bit of coral here now you thought that was done but there's even more space behind these areas now i don't know how many people actually kind of show this or know that these open they may just think it's part of the design uh, but you've got an umbrella down here you've got spy information and oh look even this side opens. so not only do you have the full closet you've got plenty of space so you can put your little knickknacks and stowaways and whatnots and laundry bags and everything in there i like that and again soft clothes moving right along you've got your light switch of course and you've got your panel which you can change from celsius to fahrenheit currently it's in celsius but this thing right here now this was not as big well it could have been but we didn't have this particular cabin the first time we were on the edge but the bathroom is absolutely gorgeous So as you can see, I'm, I'm six feet, about 250, and I can fit in here comfortably. The biggest test to me, well, I'll just show you. Whenever you can sit down and you ain't doing this number here, or you're trying to squint your leg in to sit, because <sighs> ain't no throne like your own, but when you're not at home, this one gets it done. Uh, of course, you got towels. You've got beautiful design elements. Uh, I love the artwork. You've got plenty of places to store your items above and under. You've got your trash can. You've got your power and AC and lighting over here. And of course, on Celebrity, they use the uh, Replenish brand of products. 
editing Terry here. So at this point, my microphone cut out, but I want to just explain about the shower. This thing was huge. It has a lot of space for if you want to, you know, double up, you can do that. But it kind of reminded me of those uh, drop slides that you find up on top. But as you can see right here, I'm a pretty big guy. And I got enough space to move around without bumping into stuff or stubbing my toe. I can wash up and you can see they've got the, the nozzle that you can take off to rinse off. And you still have all of the areas, the footsteps. And if you want to get down to the bottom floor, you just push the button and whoop, there you go. <laughs> it's simple as that. So then I come out of here and then uh, I take you back into the main part of the cabin just to show you how much space and different places for you to put your clothes or different items like in this uh, drawer here you've got soft clothes on all of them plenty of space with dividers so you don't just have to put everything all in one little area together and of course on the desk they get everything organized this right here I wish more cruise lines had it's a power uh, center with USB and uh, European power plugs and you could just simply put the cords through those little slits so you keep your desk and everything all nice and clean man celebrity they took time to look at all the details and I like it like I know all the women are gonna like that vanity right there with those lights let's move down here to your little mini bar it's a uh, you know the usual you get your beers and sodas you got some wines on the door handle you got a couple of snacks and some quick hitters for those late night moments when you don't really want to get up and go out of your cabin I think that's uh, you know pretty cool and you got a little space to put some stuff in let's move over to the other side of the room where you've got your little lounger it's a nice little spot to read a book catch a nap or sit and chat to the other person while they're in the room I really like the color scheme it's pretty nice size and then as you get ready to uh, move over here you got a nice chair to sit in and a lot of people don't know but that little table you can move and slide in to give you a little bit more space in the cabin moving over here you've got your little nightstand with uh, USB a ports you got two of those you've got power uh, you've got the light and you've got like a little three hole cubby so you got plenty of storage even over here on this side the one thing that I really would like to see is they put more USB-C outlets. Uh, most of your modern ships now are putting those next to the bed, but I would really love it to see USB-C. You've got your television uh, place. It's a good size television with all the smart features. So if you like watching your uh, Amazon, your Netflix, and even YouTube, you can do that on that television. And of course, over here, this is the area that I've been waiting for, the infinite balcony. This is a perfect way to give you more space in your cabin uh, to bring more of the light in. And I really like if you close these French doors, I believe that's what they're called. You can close it off and have just a normal size cabin. But if someone wanted to sit outside, you actually just created a sunroom. And I think that's uh, dope as well. Now, here's a little tip for the ladies, because these are frosted glass windows and it's letting all that sunlight come in during the daytime. It makes an excellent softbox. So uh, if you're doing uh, pictures of yourself or you're shooting a video, this is the absolute best spot to do that cool thing with this infinite balcony is you've got a nice space to chill eat breakfast in the morning without all the the breeze or maybe you don't want the air leaving your room you're still kind of cool out here and then of course when you want to let the outside in you simply push the button and down slides the window uh, just like a normal balcony you'll be able to look over the side I think this was an absolutely amazing design amazing idea and it's one of the reasons why I think every time I, I take celebrity now I have to have one of these cabins because it is simply amazing let me know what you think in the comments would this be one of the cabins that you would choose uh, do you like the design or do you not like it? I really want to know your thoughts. So let us know down below in the comment section. All right. So look who we just <laughs> ran into. I tell you, boy, we got cruising cousins all over the yes. place. Go yes. ahead and introduce yourself. Where are you from? Consuela from South Jersey Ooh. at the shore. Jersey Shore. That's what I'm talking about. Who's this lovely <laughs> thing right here? Joyce from Cape May. Oh, man. Y'all doing it. Looking good. See, represent. Yes. Come on. Yes. You're always going to find cousins. Here. 
You're gonna find them everywhere. We on all the ships. We on all the ships. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Cheers. Got it. So this game is a set of augmented multiplayer experience. We don't really know what the word augmented means because we just invented the word. It's just a new ship and new game. But basically, my understanding is that your body became a remote portion. Oh, wow. As you can see, it's six games. Now, I'm thinking, what can we play? Remember, stay on your zone and just move. If you're gonna jump, it won't help you at all. So, the white dots are coming out. Just collect them with your feet. That's it, that's it. Nice, doing a great job. Get up there, you just... That's fine. Avoid the red... Oh my god, this looks so fun. It's a lot of points. Go get the white! <laughs> okay, 140, but 70 and 80. Okay, keep playing, keep playing. You gotta slide, okay. too. Slide. Eight seconds to go. Go on, the last one. Three more seconds. No, no, one. I won. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, you ended up fourth out of three thousand guests. Whoops. <laughs> but it was also quite a workout. Quite a workout. <laughs> so we gotta make sure <laughs> you stop by the club and you play those interactive floor games. <laughs> if you didn't plan on going to the gym, let me tell you, you won't need to. Just play a couple of those games. So, when you're ready to book your next cruise, so you can be window like me, you got to make sure you stop by Celebrities Future Cruise Vacations Desk. This is where they're going to be able to hook you up with all those great vacations, no matter where you're traveling across the world. Or maybe you just want to live on this ship. You can do that. They can help you out right over here. All right, so here we go. Here we have one full body air, and here we have hand shaking bakery. Have you been travel blogger too? <laughs> yes. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so we are having dinner at Raw on Five, which is their seafood slash raw bar on board the Celebrity Ascent. It's also on many of the other Edge class ships. So the menu is a la carte. It is one of the specialty restaurants. So yes, like I said, it's a la carte, but they have a wide variety of dishes. And if you're not a big sushi fan, they actually have a variety of things on the menu that are cooked, like ramen and takansu, which is basically your fried chicken, or even katsu, which is like your skewers. So you do have a wide variety of things that you can choose from. So you don't have to eat raw, you don't have to eat sushi, and you don't have to eat cold seafood. <laughs> so they have a wide variety. I'm t looking at the lobster and shrimp wontons, but I'm also looking at a spicy tuna roll because I love a spicy tuna roll. Terry was saying something about, what did you say? The shrimp, the spicy shrimp stir fry? That's a mouthful. Spicy yeah. shrimp, shrimp stir fry. <laughs> I'm going to steer clear of anything that's spicy this trip. No, I'm going to appreciate that. But yes, so we'll show you what we order after we order. But um, the menu looks amazing. So I ended up with the lobster and shrimp wonton. There were three on this plate. I snuck one before while Terry was taking pictures. They are really good. Um, I know y'all think I say that about everything, but I do think this is really good. Um, they're crispy on the outside, super tender, lots of like lobster and crab. I mean, lobster and shrimp on the inside. I mean, you can see the lobster and shrimp. It's served with a hoisin sauce so that you get a little bit of spicy and sweet. 
to contrast with the creaminess and the butteriness of the seafood. Very, very good. Terry ordered the spicy shrimp stir fry. Look how hot that is. You can see the steam rising off of it. It looks like it's mostly a vegetable stir fry with a combination of green beans and onions. Are those noodles? Looks like a noodle. Yes, noodles. Yeah. So, is it spicy? No, I would probably be in tears. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no? <laughs> Can you not tell? Just a little. A little, okay. I would still probably be in tears. Look how hot it is. Oh my God, it's so steamy. But yeah, it's got noodles, look like udon noodles on the bottom and a variety of vegetables on top. Huge shrimp. So enjoy Terry. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so I ended up ordering the sunset roll which is basically a salmon roll that's made kind of like an avocado, I mean, not avocado, salmon roll that's made very similar to a California roll, except with mango on the inside. And on top is tempura crumbs, avocado, and a spicy mayo. Terry ordered, what did you order? A spicy tuna? Salmon. Spicy salmon roll. That one is very similar to an uh, California roll as well, except his is made with a spicy salmon that is grilled and it's topped with a uh, spicy mayo and as well as a sweetened barbecue glaze.